Hi, this is Jason Salisgar, and this is a quick tutorial from TeacherTechnologyOnline.com. Hello, this is Jason Salisgar. This is another tutorial. In this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to export our pictures into a picture folder that we have here on our desktop. So what we're going to do is we can do this either one of two ways. In this case, uh, what I can do is if I only want to do certain pictures, I can hold down my command Apple key. And as I'm holding that down, I can go ahead and click the individual pictures that I want. Maybe I just want these four instead of the others. Or if I want all the pictures that are in my event, what I can do is go to my edit and select all or Apple A is the shortcut. So I'm going to select all, and as you can see, all of them are highlighted now. So what I want to do is I want to export all these pictures into my folder. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to hit Export, or the shortcut listed here. So I'm going to click Export, and I have several choices here. I have File Export, I have a HP PhotoSmart Print if you want to send them straight to your printer. Um, size them up for your web page. Uh, I have a Kodak gallery uh, that I send to. Uh, you can make these pictures into a short QuickTime movie or a slideshow. But in this case we're going to hit file export because we're going to export our files. So I wanted to change my setting to original, current, JPEG, TIFF, or PNG file. In this case I'm going to select JPEG. And what kind of quality do I want? Do I want small size, medium, high, maximum? I'm going to select maximum in this case. Do I want to include the title or keywords? And I want the full size, large, medium, small. And file name. Do I want to use the, their title, file name, sequential, or album name with a number? Well, in this case, I'm just going to use the use file name. So I'm going to go ahead and hit export. And now it's I, I need to navigate to where that folder is. So in this case, the folder is on my desktop. So I'm going to hit my desktop and click that folder. So it's highlighted. And you can use the different views to locate your folder. So now I select picture folder and I hit OK and iPhoto just sent all those pictures into my picture folder. So now I can take this folder and I can burn it to a CD or put it on a flash drive and take it to my local photo printer. This has been another tutorial from Jason Salaskar. This has been a quick tutorial from TeacherTechnologyOnline.com. You can email me at MrSalaskar at gmail.com. You can follow me at Twitter at www.twitter.com forward slash Mr. Salaskar. Also on my blog at www.teachertechnologyonline.com.